the first thing that I will see on mornings is the volcano. The last thing before I go to bed at night, I am seeing her over there. Living at the volcano to me, it's an attraction. We still go to the volcano every year on an annual basis at Easter because that was our tradition. What well, means why the volcano is here and it's here to stay. Yeah. We live with it, we're accustomed to it. Yeah. We didn't really study it that way because it's a part of us. Oh well, um, I think people just see it as the volcano and it's something that we have to live with. I am not feeling uneasy. I, I, I'm just living a, a normal life. I'm just living a, a normal life. We realize it's there and anything can happen at any time. While we are aware that the volcano can erupt at any time, there is an annual challenge in relation to the hurricane season and the impact it can have on our communities. The April floods just came out of the, the blue um, and that's the time when it's supposed to be dry. Um, the December floods again when it's supposed to be dry just came out of the blue. So the volcano is still there but according to, to the historical data and so on they say well it's every 80 years now but it doesn't mean that you don't have to take it seriously. Well I think the communities are uh, more prepared now than then because with um, a constant flow of information and now we have Nemo, you know, giving people information, then you have other media like the television giving people information. People are somewhat more prepared now than then. I think we'd be better better um, informed. For instance, well, as I say, everybody has a cell phone now. At the time as well, we had maybe about 5,000 vehicles all told in St. Vincent. Today we have nearly 30,000 vehicles. Almost everybody has a car now, so I think there's going to be a big difference now if you have to evacuate people. The Rabuka River and the Rabuka Bridge is a critical point in the volcano. We now have a bridge over the, the, the Arabica Dry River, so access is easier. Now, whether you, if you have a volcanic eruption, that bridge would go. I don't think it would, because in the design of it, all of that was taken into consideration. Well, if the volcano should erupt today, I think that people in this community will react in a different way than they did in 1979. Well, there are a number of persons who had never had that experience with the eruption of the volcano, and there would be mixed reactions. I have heard people saying that if the volcano is still up now, they will not move. That is left to be seen. There are other persons who feel that they would move up anyway. A lot of us got some experience in 79 that we can share with others who don't have that experience. It's very important to tell young people, but it's to get them to listen, to, I mean, to say, okay, this is what happened, it was said this happened in 1902, and this is what we see personally in 1979, and how people have to move, how people react, and so on. Yeah, we young people we listen to the older folks, and because they normally have an experience before, so we have to now listen to them, and like, try to make our way out to help others who cannot help out themselves too. Yes, I think they will, yes. because it is a disaster. They will disobey in other things, but not when coming to a disaster, especially the volcano. If people have to be evacuated and the volcano is not in, in action, I think we might have some problem with people moving, because a lot of people, they might be reluctant to move. Once I hear somebody say, suffer a hero, I leave in. I you think people would respond according to what information is given. 
So if we are asked to evacuate, I think people would be ready and willing to, because we know it can be dangerous. In my mind, I feel that the volcano is, while it is active, it is not going to erupt in a surprising way, sort of, because of the equipment, we feel a little bit more comfortable. We have our volcanologists and all the other persons who are working to monitor the volcano, and we believe in them. I feel com comfortable about the, the response from the scientists, because the awards are final. Sometimes when you give people news to take out, sometimes they add or they take away. So they will like to hear directly from the scientists. They trust the scientists, yes they do.